Hi guys, it's April and this this is my this is my garden. <laughs> I garden down in southeastern Nebraska, zone 5B, and this is my weekly garden update. I have to be honest here. I haven't done a lot in the garden. I know on my last video I talked about doing some cleanup and starting to pull things out and making sure that uh things are okay and thriving and starting that fall cleanup. I've done none of those things. It has been a crazy chaotic week. I've done a lot of preserving. I've done a lot of inside stuff that the, the garden got a bit neglected. Not that you can tell because I mean it is extremely green right now but that also means um I'm not as far with all of this as I wanted to be <laughs> and there is as you can see with that pumpkin right there still some dying stuff in my garden but here we are let me poke around and show you a few things I have started pulling down the volunteer tomatoes I'm not collecting some of the small, smaller tomatoes but some of the bigger ones I am I'm actually bringing into the house, but otherwise I'm just pulling this out. Right now it's going into a pile, but we'll probably end up burning a good chunk of it. And then uh, maybe composting the rest. But that's the volunteer patch. And then I'm just gonna do a quick sweep of the raised beds yeah it's looking pretty so I haven't gotten any more zucchinis from the zucchini plant I highly doubt that this pumpkin plant right here is going to give me anything I had hopes this is a candy pumpkin, but I don't think it's gonna happen. I might try again next year, but for now, nope. The fun news is I've actually eaten two of these peaches. They're still kind of hard and they could probably use a little more time, but a couple of them have fallen off and if they still look good I've picked them up washed them off and tried them and I really like the flavor which I'm glad because I bought this peach tree because it stays small and I didn't want anything that would grow too big and start shading things out so I wanted a dwarf variety and this is technically supposed to be a potted peach tree one of those ones that you keep on the patio or in the house kind of deal but I put it in the ground and so we'll see if it actually stays miniature or not but the peaches are good and that's what matters of course we got the tomotillos and the cowpeas intermingling doing their thing still have only had one tomatillo and I'm still fighting the dogs for the cowpeas. We've got the ground cherries that are basically starting to carpet this in-ground bed here. And then the pumpkin that I definitely, definitely need to pull out and compost or just burn. All of this is still super wild because as I said, I just haven't dealt with it and I'm really not looking forward to dealing with it. Let's look at how much that is just spilt over and 
my sunflowers are starting to go to seed, which is okay. It just looks really, really scraggly. For the most part, I'm leaving the seeds for the birds, but at some point I might come through and see what is on there and save some seeds myself so I don't have to buy a whole new batch of sunflower seeds. I might do that anyways, but still might see what I can save for myself. View of the garden from this direction. The thing is, because it's going back and forth in temperature. There's actually a lot of new green tomatoes on my plants. It's just a matter of waiting for them and if they'll ripen before our frost. We have got, let's see if we can find, got some poblanos going on. So I think I'll get another batch of poblano peppers and then I still got a couple of jalapenos going but everything else in there I think has just been smothered out by these tomato plants thank you tomatoes I said everything is just wild and I'm just I'm letting it do the thing we got the okra that's getting pretty tall and of course as always the mess of cucumbers I I keep saying that I'm, I might just go through here and start like pulling things um, I do have a home for some of these cucumbers so this week I might actually do a big harvest and after I go through and do that big harvest cut everything back to the beds and then let it do its thing I did not realize how much of a lean this has but yep that is being pulled down by the cucumbers. I don't, I don't know if I've talked about this before. Sorry, I'm a bit like all over the place right now. Um, I'm gonna try not to disturb this bee as I walk through here. But over here, these two vining plants are kiwi plants that I started from seed not this year, but the year before. Now, I need to do some research in telling on how you've got a male or a female kiwi plant, because I do believe you need both to produce kiwi. I haven't seen any flowering happen on these vines. So I, I don't know much about kiwis other than the fact that I love eating them. And the fact that these came back is kind of exciting to me. As you can see, that they're interwoven with some weeds that I have struggled with because of this fence line. But I still think that's kind of fun. You can see the cucumber monster from this angle. But then we can go to the corn. Now the corn is pretty dry at this point, both varieties. I haven't tried pulling any of the blue popcorn yet, but in a couple weeks time, I will be pulling this out and setting it out for Halloween decorations, October 1st. October 1st, all of the decorations comes out 
and I just go crazy for Halloween. So at that point, this bed will be cut all the way back and I will have harvested all that I can find on it. And these will be out front. We got this crazy bed. I'm gonna go to the other side because it's just easier on the other side of this bed. As you can tell, this trellising system is just given out. But I've got some of these huge tomatoes the fun part is, I have no idea what variety is what anymore. And I usually can't tell until it starts to ripen. And even then, <laughs> I just have to make a guess. But in this bed, remember that zucchini plant that I'm like, I don't know if I'll get anything off of it. Well, I'm gonna get at least one zucchini off of it. So I call that a win. And it looks like I might get a second one in there. But other than that, my sweet peppers, there are a few peppers here and there. I did go to the farmer's market the other day and just get a ton of ginormous peppers from a local farmer that will probably be most of my peppers that I keep up in the freezer for over the winter and what's left here might just go to the guinea pigs since they're so small and thin walled. It's a really, really purple one right back there. I almost thought it was a tomato for a second. Other than that, we've got this mess of tomatoes. And then I can take you to the other side to show you all of those tomatoes. Like I said, not much has actually changed this week. I mean, we still got all the onions and all the basil, and then this massive tomato jungle. I am still attempting, as you can see those red blossoms, still attempting to try and find beans, but I think I'm losing to the grasshoppers. And I've got a giant hornworm. Do you see it? It's just right there. That's lovely. I'm gonna move him into the volunteer patch. He can eat all of that he wants. But I just kind of saw that top part that it was all gone and then immediately there he is. So he'll be moving. He's gonna find a new home. I just, I can't bring myself to squish them. So they always end up in like the compost pile. We got the strawberries, cucumbers, this other peach tree. Which I think the peaches are a bit bigger on this tree but they're not nearly as ripe. And then of course, as always, this back corner. Now these are looking really sad, but they were also my earliest blooming sunflowers. So it's, it's really not that surprising, but I know it was super quick. But like I said, there hasn't been a huge change in the garden. So I didn't really have a lot to show you, but this is her. This is where she's at. 
Sorry if that was a super fast tour this time around. It's actually kind of threatening to sprinkle and I don't want to be out here with this equipment. So I went a little faster than I normally do, but I still wanted to show you all of this, of course. Um, I promise I'll do at least a little work this coming week in the garden. Maybe I will for sure move that hornworm that's over there, just eating to his heart's content. But otherwise, I do more frequent updates over on Instagram. If you want to go and check me out over there, feel free to. Uh, I post a lot of what I'm doing to preserve, um, things I'm harvesting, and all of that kind of stuff. Otherwise, if you want to see my weekly updates on what is going on out here, feel free to subscribe down below, hit that bell, do all of those things to get all of those notifications. And of course, like, comment, and subscribe as the algorithm wants everything to happen as things do. Don't know where that sentence was going. It kind of got away from me. Otherwise, I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your week. I hope to see you guys here again next week, and I heart your beautiful faces. Bye.